time. Here we go. So we are going to load again. Pee pee poo poo on my dad. That's right. Now from memory, we um we got like mega stuck. Yeah, not only um I it's not just Linux. I mean, but yeah, you know, fuck yeah, Linux. Um, don't get me wrong. It, it's it's more the fact that this is like a full screen application, and I have to control Alt. And when I get out of it, it goes do 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 do. When it like pauses on whatever sound you you're, you're currently on. Um, I I said that I was gonna try to figure out how to do it windowed. Didn't get enough time. Mia culpa. Um, sue me. I'm sorry. But you look look. It looks fine. It works. Yeah. Um, for those of for those people not familiar, this is a 2012 title, um, so about nine years old now. Uh, and, I, and again, I think this one is a shortish title. So I'm thinking, like, we've got two shortish uh, titles. Uh, Primordia is probably going to be um, done. Definitely not this stream. I, look, I'm not that good, but it, it's not going to be a long-running series. Uh, same with Abzu. I think Abzu will be finished in like three streams, four max. Um, so yeah, Moose Man in the last slot. Um, but in this first slot, Boss, why do you need a bed anyway? Can't you just shut down on the floor? The bed has always been here. I just assumed one of my prior versions built it. That's the lamest explanation ever. Well, thanks for the interruption. What's his name again? Crispin. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Crispin. I was talking. Um, yeah, in, in this spot... I mean, I was thinking of a retro game. And the game that I was thinking of was Vagrant Story. But I was wondering, do I do that on Thursdays? Or do I do it on Sundays? Um, because you see, on Sundays, there's the Eternal Castle. Which I believe will be done in a couple streams as well. And I was thinking, hmm, that might be the spot where you put the uh, the retro one. But I'm quite happy to put uh, Vagrant Story in on Thursday. Um, just depends. Yeah. So yeah, those are two upcoming ones that you might be seeing. Moose Man and uh, Vagrant Story. Very excited for Vagrant Story. But let's get, let's get into this, shall we? Now, uh, I... We had this. Right, and we wanted to connect it to that computer, but it required four things, and I was just trying to, to see how to get these two things together. Um, Let's cut a little cable off. Huh. Well, it just goes to Fuck's show, sake. garbage in, greatness out. <laughs> well worked. I think that's it. And no, I did not consult guides, because um, I, I just I just had a really long think about it. It's like I don't want to do that. Um, I did it for um, Golden Sun. I kind of ruined some of the surprises, in my opinion. So for this one, I was like, no, just just work through it. Maybe chat will help or whatever as well. Like you can do it. You are big brain. Like do not give up. So. Alright, um... Okay, now that we have this cable, we should be able to go in here. And plug it up here. Just looking at my audio levels, I think the audio is fine. Because I want to have it so that my mic... Like, it's not dangerously loud. But I don't want the game audio to drown out my mic. So, if my audio is off, just tell me But Okay, now that that's done, I also need to to do what? A universal socket for plugging in peripheral hardware. Um, okay, so I've plugged in that. Do we need to plug the LCD screen on 
key is somewhere? I doubt that will have any effect. A simple computer interface with a socket for connecting external hardware. Right, right, right. And I've done that. Now we just need to check out these coordinates. But didn't you just tell me we don't have enough power to go walking all over the dunes? No, I said we couldn't walk to Metropole. Anyway, most of these are close by. But what if it's picking up, oh, I don't know, a radioactive rust monster? A what? Or a giant cannibal robot? Ooh. There's no such thing. Or an unexploded bomb? I highly doubt that. Or a giant lightning storm? Okay, you're right. We need to know what's out there before we take off. It's just a matter of figuring out how. Why is nothing easy? I can think of one reason. Yeah, Crispin. You're bitching. Crispin bitching. Um, data. There needs to be some kind of connector between the crystal and the cable. Well, haven't I done that? Pretty sure I've done all that. So now the map. Mmm. Right, right, so I, the crystal, the cable are connected, but the CPU, mo yeah, I, I've done all that, I'm pretty sure. So it's all there, and we've got the coordinates, right? The original designs for Crispin. Right, you see this thing dangling here. No, 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 the no, original no, design. No, no, no. no. The energy sensor requires a sodium iodide crystal connected to a cable, which in turn needs to be connected to a CPU and a monitor. And a monitor. Right. And, uh... Yeah, that's the screen, right? So I need to connect that, right? I'll need to get a closer look to see how it fits together. Universal socket for plugging in peripheral hardware. A simple computer interface with a socket for connecting external. Okay, well, anyway, these coordinates I would probably check. Where's a piece of paper write something on? Uh, I had a, uh, an, unclutch <clears throat> an uncluttering yesterday, so I got rid of lots of uh, rubbish in the room, which left me with. Um, not so much paper to write on, but this will do. Alright. These coordinates, sure. Uh, no. Map. So, can we plug in those coordinates somewhere? Hmm, maybe. Um, I think what we really need is a bongo tap. Don't worry, it's, it's not, it's not, there we go. All that to get that done. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> Alright. I've never been able to figure it out. That's We're fine on energy. Stupid. This guy's called, um, what's this guy's name? Horatio? Something stupid like that. Okay, I've got coordinates. So once I've got the coordinates, okay, he said I've got to. We've got to figure out what's out there. We can't use that machine. Boss, don't you think it's a fire hazard to have all those books piled up like that? How would they catch fire? Oh, Crispin is uh, threatening arson. Uh, okay, let's go up. Oh, maybe the telescope. Maybe, maybe. Uh, okay. Nothing but radioactive waste. We can't salvage anything from that.
817. Um, boss? That looks like a giant cannibal robot to me. It looks promising is what it looks like. And with that, poor doomed Horatio stuck his head into the giant's mouth. Okay, Roboto. And then the last coordinate, 608. That's strange. The sensor detected an energy source in the junk pile. Maybe we should go look more carefully. Hell yeah. Alright. Junk pile, junk pile. Are we talking about the junk pile here? Sure. Let's do it. Boss, how in the world are we going to find a power source in all this junk? Boss, as long as we're checking coordinates, we might as well keep looking, right? Alright, well... It's just scrap. It's just scrap. I picked it clean years ago. So you say you picked it clean, but it's detecting it's an energy scrap. source in here somewhere. The tube again? There's nothing more of value in there. But you walked all the way over to look at it. There's nothing more of value in there. <laughs> it's just scrap. We do want to be getting in that door. It's still locked. Are we ever going to visit that giant robot? Yes. Oh, do we have to? Yes. <sighs> yes. Um, hmm. How do you think a train wound up out here, boss? Maybe they brought it here by boat. Very funny. It's just scrap. Energy source. It's just scrap. It, it, there's got to be a way to get inside there. I can't see anything to do with it. It's just scrap. It's just scrap. All right, all right. So let's then go to the robot. Ooh, that's a big boy. You know, big boy. Man's creation. Oh. Ooh, that's a big head. And the robot um, arm, I mean, hand. Oh! That is one big robot. Then it must have a big power core. I'm pretty sure he wants to eat me, boss. Robots don't eat Crispin. Look how he's staring at me! It's not staring at anything. No, not yet anyway. Well, we have to find a way to get at its power core. Mm. Let's look around. Snatch its heart out of its body. It's corroded, but I can't break into it with my bare hands. There is a band of corroded metal on this fingertip. If I could break it off, I might be able to get at the robot's power cables. Hmm. Good old Crispin. Uh, I don't really want to try that. Man, Crispin, like, not up. Alright, well, I don't think this... I can't go further out this way. Crispin, help me take a look at these vents. Yeah, get, get up his nostril. Ooh. It looks like the robot is circulating air through these vents. Uh-huh. It looks like the robot is circulating air through these vents. Good old Crispin. Can you fly up and scout around? That is honestly the worst idea you've ever had. But worse than when you upgraded the dehumidifiers and the unique. It might be. Worse than when you used your plasma torch as a lantern just to see if it would work. A way in. I can't fit. Okay. All right. All right. Bare hands, okay. Well, in that case, can you do it with uh, the welding tool? Uh, boss, are you really gonna cut that finger off? Oh, yeah, just the tip. 
Why? <laughs> to see if we can get a power cable. Just the tip. Oh. You sure you're not just torturing the poor guy? No, but to tell you the truth, for some reason I don't like the look of him. That's what I've been saying all along, boss. Mm -hmm. Just let me concentrate. Just the tip. Oh. Bugs and glitches. There are no power lines running through here at all. I'm still taking it. Hell yeah. All that for a rusty fingertip. Can it generate power? No. Just checking. A giant fingertip made of corroded steel. Hmm. Is that a mouth or some kind of doorway? Either way, I'm steering clear of it. Crispin, you're going directly inside there. Anyone home? Anyone home? I bet if the giant robot opened his mouth, he'd try to eat us. Still, I kind of want to make him open his mouth. Just to see him try to catch me. I may not be big, but I'm fast. Are you through? Yes, sir. Good old Crispin. Okay. You're going into the mouth of madness. I doubt that will have any effect. I doubt that will have any effect. Oh, maybe you put the finger up with the nose. I can feel air moving. There's no way I can reach that. Uh, can Crispin? There's no way I can reach that. Can I give? Crispin, try shoving this into that vent. There we There's go. something ironic about that. Ironic and disturbing. And a boogie. Hell yeah. A giant fingertip made of corroded steel. There's no way I can reach that. Okay, now its its intake of air would be restricted, so it's probably going to open its mouth and beer to get more air in. That's my guess. Anyone home? It's plugging the duct. Yeah. Good old Crispin. Good old Crispin. Okay, maybe Crispin can get in the other vent. Just to plug, plug it up. That is one big robot. There's a big boy. Not gonna happen. Do it. Do it. Do it. Good old Crispin. There's no way I can reach that. That is one big mm. robot. Well, what we got here? There's no way I can reach that. <laughs> is that a mouth or some kind of doorway? Either way. Doubt that will have any effect. Ah, uh, my body is. Feel free to backseat if you think you know. Shoved a finger up its nose. It's just scrap. There's maybe a. Is that really the best idea you can come up with, boss? I'm trying, Crispin. I'm trying. Crispin, any guesses where the power source Ooh. we detected might be? Does in your boot sector count as a guess? No. Then no. Whatever the vantage point, it's still just a big pile of junk, boss. Whatever the vantage point, whatever the vent. I'm not doing that until you build me some arms. God damn it. Whatever the vent. Whatever the vent. How about this time you go? I'm way. Uh, I don't really want. 
the door's locked. And I can't use the plasma on it. Still locked. Or can I? To reinforce steel. Yeah. There's no reason to cut. I would waste the torch's whole. There's no reason to cut that. Or what am I missing? thousand Crispin he's not going to eat you You're control okay huh are you talking to yourself no sounds like a very legit tip ha Shove something up there to limit the flow of the, the, the air. Do I need to block both, both vents? A good length of heavy duty cable designed for carrying data. Is that a mouth or some kind of doorway? Either way, I'm steering clear of it. But I want in. There's no way I can reach that. A giant fingertip made of corroded steel. Good old Crispin. That is one big robot. Mm -hmm. You shoved the book up there. Lantern. I think I see a giant brain. Can you reach it? No, the duct gets too narrow. Hmm. I think I see a giant. Can you reach it? No, the duct. I doubt that will have any effect. There's no reason to cut that. I can't read. Uh, back at my at the eunuch, there was this thing on the ground here. The grease. But is there a container for the grease as well? Tag. I'm not doing that until you build me. It's the unique tag. There's no reason. To... I mean, obviously, we need to get that. We there's also the hose. Do we need to do anything to the hose? Blasted leaking gasket. Is it blasted or leaking? Um, I don't think we've got anything that can fix that. There's no way I can re. What was I thinking? Le That's way too big for me to get by. 